Welcome to another Blender tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how we make a HDRI image. Now a HDRI image is a high dynamic range image and these are generally used for um, environmental lighting. In fact they're exclusively as far as I know used for environmental lighting inside of a 3D piece of software like for example Blender or 3ds Max or Maya. Now here you can see is a HDRI that I made Okay, and you can see it's, it actually looks really nice. I was actually quite um, surprised when this was done rendering. And this one I can now use for envir environmental lighting inside of any piece of software I want. I can load, I can create a blender scene and I can load this in for lighting. Now without wasting any time, I'm gonna show you how I did this. And you're gonna be amazed of how easy this actually is. Um, here's a little scene I made. Now this isn't a scene tutorial. This is a HDRI tutorial. So what you want to do is you want to create, get get a scene that you want to turn into your own um, HDRI. Okay, you, you get the scene, and then what you do, you know, the lighting, everything set up, the scene, the lighting. The main thing you want to look at is the camera, because the camera and the camera settings are what going to are the things that are going to give you your HDRI. So here's my scene, and I want to think about the height of where I would be standing in my scene. Okay, because from a HDR Within a HRI image, you're going to see it from the perspective of where the camera was. So for me, I would think, looking at this, my buildings, okay, which, by the way, if you want to know how I made these, it was literally just a bunch of boxes that I a UV unwrapped and I added some building textures. And then it's just a street, I did the same thing, and then just this plane with brick texture on it, like a sidewalk brick texture. So very, very simple, nothing difficult. But anyway, I would say a person's height for me would be about here. So I'm going to put the cursor about there. I'm going to go add and I'm going to camera. Okay. And then I'm going to go to my top orthographic view and I'm going to move my camera to where I want it. And I want mine to be kind of in the middle of the city. Okay. So I'm going to go to the middle of my road here and I'm going to just turn it 90 degrees. Okay. Now it doesn't matter from a top view. Okay. It doesn't matter what way your camera is um, turned in a HDR image. It's really not that relevant because it's going to kind of just form seamlessly. But what does matter? Okay, if I go to my, from a top view, it doesn't matter. But from a front view, you don't want your camera turned like that. Okay, it needs to be 90 degrees. And you also don't want it turned up or down. Okay, it just needs to be flat. Okay, no, no rotation on anything but the Z rotation. Okay, on the Z rotation, it can be any direction. Keep that in mind. So we got our height, okay? I've chosen the direction I want, and now all I have to do is go into my camera settings and render. It's literally that simple. So I'm gonna to go to my, um, click my little camera here, and for the resolution, I'm gonna make my resolution 2000 at the top, okay? And 1000 on the bottom. Now the thing you wanna keep in mind, okay, is all you have to do when you, you are putting in these numbers is just keep a, a two to one ratio, okay? So the bottom number should be divisible um, by two when you divide it into this number here, okay? So if it, this is 4,000, this is 2,000. If this the top, the top one is 8,000, then the bottom one is 4,000, and so on, okay? So I'm gonna do 2,000 by 1,000. Now, I would recommend 4,000 by 2,000, but this is a tutorial, so I'm just gonna keep it like this. But um, do keep in mind, these do take a little bit of time to render out. But anyway, I'm done with that bit. That's all I had to do in here. And then I'm gonna go click on my camera here, okay? And these are actually both cameras. <laughs> I never thought about it, but this is just an older kind of one. Um, anyway, by default, this is set to, to perspective, okay? I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna leave my focal length at 35, okay? But I'm gonna go and click on panoramic, and then what I, I'm gonna do, there's an option called type. And then I'm gonna make this, this bottom one, okay? Equirect rectangular, equal, e equal rectangular, whatever that is, <laughs> okay? So I selected that one, and that is about all you have to do, okay? So I'm gonna go into my camera view now, and I'm gonna press the render button. It is literally that easy. And you can see now it's rendering out a HRI image. And you'll know this is working by looking at the image, you'll see it is warped, okay? It, a HR image has this, um, has this really intense warping as it starts to go out. And you can see here it's rendering. And um, and I didn't do anything fancy. As you can see, like I said, I kept it simple because this is purely, this one that I'm making right here is purely for lighting, okay? I'm gonna use it for HDR lighting in a project that I'm doing. 
but if I was going to have this be able, if I was going to see this in my scene, okay, I would have put some more effort. I would have made it look nicer. I would have added some materials. Maybe some people, some lampposts, some bins, maybe a cat, a dog, whatever you'd see, you know, around, laying around the city. A hobo or two, something like that. And, yeah, that's really all it is. That's really all there is to making a HR. So, when this is done rendering, I'll quickly show you what the... Okay, so it's done rendering now. And all you have to do is you have to go to um, image and then save as image. And then you, you could save a location. So I would I would choose a location like my desktop and then I'd save it. Now I've already saved this out, so I'm not gonna do it again. But to actually get it into Blender, okay, you can open up a fresh scene in Blender. And all you have to do is enable cycles render, okay? And then I'm gonna go to my world settings. So I'm gonna click on a little world. I'm gonna go use nodes. And then where it says color here, there's this little tab, I'm gonna click on that. And I'm just gonna go up to environment texture. Then I'm going to go open. Then I'm going to go to my desktop. And here is that image I created. Okay. So if I want to see it in the viewport, all I have to do is go N on my properties panel, go to display and just go world background. And now I can see it in a live view. Okay. And if I render it, I'd also see it, you know, so this is in render view. Okay. This is in live view. And that's really all there is to it. Now you've got um, a nice lighting setup. You can play around with your strength, you know, and essentially you can, you know, use this in whatever project you want. You can, you can be as creative as you want. You can create an alien planet, HDRI. Um, the, uh, the thing with a HDRI, you don't want it to be a, too dark, you know, cause you are going to, you do want lighting information to be there. But other than that, you know, very straightforward. I hope you guys like this. Um, g g hit a like below and subscribe and check out some of my other content. I'll see you guys next time.